Hi, I'm Randy Darby, Senior Service Technician with TJ Snow Company. And today we'd like to talk about a single aspect of preventative maintenance when it comes to resistance welding. Now, resistance welding has long been a preferred method of joining metals due to its speed, reliability, and high throughput. However, like any machine, periodic uh, routine maintenance is required in order to keep the equipment operating at peak performance. Now, in the case of resistance welding, large amounts of currents are produced. We're talking thousands of amps in the majority of cases in order to produce the end result, but being produced at a very low output voltage of about 15 volts or less, and that can be AC or DC. Now, since current and voltage are proportional, a loss of just a few tenths of a volt can mean a dramatic loss in output current, which of course can affect repeatability and weld quality. These voltage losses occur due to oxidation of the current carrying joints, uh, the cables physically burning up, fraying, or even physically breaking. The total circuit resistance to current flow, known as impedance, needs to be kept as low as possible so that we can produce the highest output current and voltage possible for the application as needed. Now to measure these resistances, we have the availability of a micro-ohm meter. TJ Snow Company offers the flexible cable lunchbox micro-ohm meter. The meter has a measuring range of three to 2,000 micro-ohms with an accuracy within 1%. So how does it work? The meter uses a four-wire Kelvin probe system. Each probe passes current through the outer contact points and voltage is measured by the center pin, which is spring-loaded. This provides for a more accurate reading since probe resistance and contact resistance are eliminated. The unit comes with a set of test probes, three and a half inch display, hard shell case, and rechargeable battery pack. It is ideal for trend analysis documentation as well as machine troubleshooting. Observe the ease of operation when measuring this new 1000 MCM by 12 inch air cooled welding cable. As you can see, the resistance is around 29 to 30 microohms. Now, let's observe the reading on a cable that is also 1000 MCM by 12 inches long, but this cable's worn out. This cable's been in production. You can see how the cable has, has been frayed and broken. And by the way, while the cables can discolor and burn up, most of the time where the cable fails is in the crimp joint, and that's due to the movement of the cable as the welding occurs back and forth day in and day out. So let's take a look and see what the reading is on this worn frayed cable. As you can see, the reading on this cable is almost 90, well, is 91 microohms. That is a reading three times what the original brand new cable was. What that means is, is now with the higher resistance, there's going to be an inherent current loss when trying to make the same weld. Therefore, it's paramount that secondary connections be disassembled, clean, and then put back together with good tight bolted connections at least annually. The micro-ohm meter is not only great for preventative maintenance, it's also ideal for trend analysis documentation as well as machine troubleshooting. The lunchbox can measure the resistance of the entire circuit or individual sections as needed. Some common uses are measuring air cool welding cables, water cool cables, or laminated shunts to name a few. If you have any questions about the Lunchbox Micro-Ohm Meter, you can contact our inside sales team or visit us online at tjsnow.com.